Hi, this is Avenue X. As you can see, this is not my normal drama review video setup. I'm filming this at 8 p.m. 8.11 on March the 1st, Sunday, 2020. Earlier today, I talked on my YouTube community post and asking for people's opinion about whether I should make a video about the current situation with Xiao Zhan that's in Chinese fandom and on Weibo and it's uh, it got trending on Twitter today. Uh, if you were looking at Twitter this morning, uh, I mean North America's time, you may notice that. I'll try to uh, keep the edits on this video minimum and I want to recount the event that has happened leading up to what has been happening today. Before I start to talk about this, please do not uh, leave hate hate comment okay in under this video. Uh, don't fight with each other. Um, if you want to talk about your opinions, it's okay. Don't attack anyone. Please, not me. I am not anyone's anti fan. I don't hate anybody involved in this thing. I'm very shocked by how far it has gone, and. Uh, I am worried about how it's gonna end. I do love The Untamed. I think uh, I don't need proof of that since last year. And I also understand that Chinese fandom, for a lot of stars, a lot of people's fandom, is insane. Something needs to be done because it's insane. So, if you're not sure why Xiao Zhan, as a Chinese actor, ended up on Twitter's trending today, um, I'm gonna try to go through all the events that led up to this moment and you can make up your own judgment about it. So this all started basically um, because that um, some of his fans did something that very very likely, okay, unconfirmed 100% caused archives of our own, the biggest fanfiction website on this planet, got finally blocked in China. Like many foreign sites such as YouTube, Instagram, Facebook, everything you can think of, Pinterest, that are all currently blocked uh, in China. AO3 joined the list on the last day of 2020, February, so on 29th. And it all started on the 24th of February. On that day, a writer um, on Weibo published her sort of, uh, chapter and new chapter of her fan fiction writing. She does that um, on Lofter, which is one of China's most famous fan fiction platform that's hosted by NetEase, Wang Yi, Lofter. I, I, I also wrote um, a couple of fan fictions over there for Nirvana and Fire 2. And she also posted on AO3. This is a, a, a chapter of her story that is a fan fiction based on Wang Yibo and Xiao Zhan. You know, since, um, since The Untamed, they're kind of like a big uh, fan fiction couple. In this story, Xiao Zhan is described as a uh, gender dysphoria character. So uh, he appears to be a she. And then the character based on Wang Yibo is uh, written as a high schooler. And this story also uh, got a Weibo painter to do its uh, cover picture where Xiao Zhan's face ends up on a woman's body who is looking at a mirror putting on makeup. Um, I'm not going to show that image here because I don't have copyright. Um, but basically that started this whole thing. When this story got posted very soon, uh, Xiao Zhan's what we call single fans, so basically people who claim that they, um, they only uh, fan Xiao, Xiao Zhan other than any other people, um, the single fans of community got angry over the content, the writing, and also uh, picturing uh, Xiao Zhan as a woman. So they started to attack uh, the writer. And by the time it's 26, two accounts that are quite big, that are Xiao Zhan's fans, uh, started to encourage um, sending out uh, posts that are kind of organized and encouraging Xiao Zhan's fans to report this writer, her writing, her account on Lofter to authorities on the basis that um, the writing is defamation on the actor and feminizing him and um, it contains sexual content as well and all that. So that's the reason that um, they want to report this writer and her work to uh, internet authorities who are basically in charge of um, 
keeping China's internet. On Weibo, Xiao Zhan's single fans and then the CP fans of Wang Yibo and Xiao Zhan start fighting, as it happens uh, always between single and CP fans, uh, around the topic of the morality of literature. Basically, is it okay to talk about immoral things in literature? I mean, I don't even want to join this. I, I learned literature, English literature, in my, as my BA degree. Um, if there's no prostitution, if there's no sex in literature, uh, none of the uh, Nobel Prize work will, will, will exist. Anyway, uh, I don't know why people even argue about that. But apparently, morality police is now everywhere on China's internet. So that started to get really, really heated. Because many people reported the writer and got official replies, basically saying, we will check this out in written form, and it's all publicized on the internet. So the writer um, got scared and changed her account names and locked down her entire series of this writing. By 27th of February, a lot of fan fictions on Lofter, that's not related even to this, uh, that features things that might be considered as sexual, and also Billy Billy, uh, so the biggest Chinese, sort of China's YouTube, that has a lot of fan edits of dramas and stuff, got um, taken down, the content got locked, uh, accounts get deleted, a lot of people realize what they've kept in their um, <coughs> safe to watch later or safe to read later uh, f file are grey, basically they're gone. And these people got really mad. So they started a trending topic on Weibo called um, 227 Historical Moment. And they're saying we're going to take our creative work back. There's creative freedom. If you don't like our fandom and stuff, you know, it's okay. But you can't just, you know, like block our rights to have what we want. So this thing continued happening and festering on t uh, February the 28th. By February 29th, AO3 archives of our own, official account on Weibo sent out a clarification explaining what their tags mean. If you read a lot of fanfiction, you will know, like underage and all that, like how do they classify that and what is their official stand on fanfiction. Clearly, AO3 knows what has been going on on China's internet. On that evening, unfortunately, AO3 went down and it's not accessible from within China unless you use VPN. A lot of people were worried about this uh, ever since the sort of the beginning of this report thing, right? A lot of people were like, shit, if AO3 got shut down because of this, this is bad. Unfortunately, this thing also runs into a uh, movement that China is doing, starting from uh, today, uh, March the 1st, as I'm filming it, called Jingwang, which is cleaning the internet, uh, kind of restricting on uh, a lot of content and being tighter controlled again. Because uh, the unfortunate shutdown of AO3 is right on the evening, right, before this happens. In terms of weather, uh, the shutting down of AO3 is definitely 100% caused by the fact that um, uh, the Xiao Jets fans uh, reported this writer's work on AO3 is never going to be 100% confirmed. <laughs> You just know that these things happened very in very close proximity. I guess only the people who actually decided to shut down AO3 in China knows if it actually has anything to do with it. Um, but we're not never gonna hear that. So doesn't matter <laughs> what the truth is. The fact is, people got mad. A lot of AO3 people, readers for years, who have accounts over there, who are still following stuff that's being written. Now, if they don't have VPN in China, they can't continue reading. So a rush of people ran into every Chinese website that has rating systems and start to rate everything that Xiao Zhang has been in to the lowest rating possible. Drama such as Untamed got uh, lowered uh, ratings. By this time, I think it's already lowered to 0 0.3. Um, and then even Joy of Life. So that's like their way of coming back at it and lashing out for sure their anger. On March the 1st, um, one of the two people that I mentioned earlier that kind of started this reporting thing um, sent out an official apology saying that his uh, her action has caused all this problem for all those people uh, who are not the intended target. 
And Xiao Zhan's fandom also sent out official post on Weibo, basically kicking this person out of the official recognized fandom. So this person is no longer a one of us. Basically, it's like excommunication in fandom. And this person who sent out an apology deleted her previous related post. And on the afternoon of um, March 1st in China, Zhang Ruoyun, the lead actor of Joy of Life, logged in to his Douban account and then rated Joy of Life five stars. <laughs> Apparently he didn't do that earlier. I guess he doesn't care, but then he probably has heard that a rush of people tried to rate Joy of Life down. The whole thing just, like even this needs to happen, it just sounds so ridiculous. On the evening of March the 1st in China, um, 9 p.m., uh, Xiao Zhan's studio sent out an apology, kind of like their PR letter about this thing. Acknowledging that they know it's going on, apologizing for the fact that um, during this virus outbreak, they are taking too much attention, people's attention away on their matter that is not that important, and they apologize for that. And they're also saying, a virus outbreak is happening, actor is at home, um, and hope everybody stays safe, basically like that. So it kind of doesn't really apologize for anything important. So AO3 angry people are definitely not taking it kindly. But that kind of like was putting a stop, right, at this whole development. It's late, it's like 9 p.m. So everyone thought, okay, today's fight is ending. Tomorrow we'll see what happens. Nobody see it coming that um, a couple of hours later, shit start to happen. I happen to be up uh, because it's um, it was China's midnight of March the 2nd, early morning, and then it's like, um, midday morning for me in North America and I happened to just catch that on Weibo suddenly a trend of suicides start to happen a couple of young girls sent out Weibo basically suicide notes saying goodbye to the world and some of them are AO3 users some of them are writers and they are like um what they love so much got destroyed and taken from them. And most of them probably have uh, their own problems. Um, one girl definitely has depression. And and they were like, you know, goodbye. And this got people really scared. People who weren't sleeping at the time got really scared. So internet started to go crazy, reposting, of trying to locate policemen to find this, these people, trying to contact Weibo's uh, service account trying to locate their IP and I was following it minute by minute and um, I saw six such posts. There are um, people who are, you know, like losing AO3 and couldn't deal with it. There are also Xiao Zhan's fans trying to defend him and then got hate comments under their accounts and couldn't take it. So basically people from both sides are, are like, sending out suicide notes in a rush. So by now, out of the six people that I, I found out at least, I think there are more, um, five have been located and are alive. Some of them did do something and, and to themselves. They need to uh, go to the hospital again. There's a girl who really has really bad depression problems and it's really sad to read her way, but anyway, she's alive but um, Let's just say uh, she's not in a very good place. Also, there's a girl who um, is very, very serious in hospital. At the time that I'm uh, making this video, I still haven't heard about like if it's completely okay now. <sighs> Regardless, this thing scared a lot of people out of their wits. I have a friend who is on internet and she has a kind of a bigger account. Didn't sleep. Uh, she was in China whole night. And she was like trying to catch all those posts and then contacting Weibo's official service account and make sure that they know these people are sending out soon outside notes. Make sure they use their backend to check and try to find lo locate these people. So this is how far this has gone to uh, at this point. I don't know how, how much more crazy stuff right can happen related to this. Everyone is blaming people. Right on the internet, uh, this is should be blamed on the actor, shouldn't be blamed on the actor, should be blamed on fandom, should be blamed on this, blah blah blah. It's just 
so pointless. When you think about how this whole thing started, it's just for some really petty reasons. Um, okay, so I'm gonna very briefly talk about the three things that absolutely scares me about this thing. I think that is problematic. The first and the most important thing, this thing about reporting people that actually works. Um, if you don't like somebody's writing, you don't like what they say, you can use public authorities, rules and regulations and report them and destroy their work, destroy their haven. The people who have never done anything uh, directly to you just because you don't like it and you can report it actually works. Now, that's the scary thing, the most scary thing. It really does remind you of cultural revolution <laughs> and then the 60s and 70s when um, when families report each other, when husband report wife, when kids kill their parents. Mm. Now it's just in the digital age and happening between total strangers. And a lot of people are forgetting about that. By the time this thing has gone to this point, right? A lot of people are like just looking at fandom. Fandom is not the biggest problem in this thing. The fact that report works is the worst thing. The second thing is obviously to do with fandom. There was a time that Weibo was very healthy. A lot of interesting people, real people, talk about real stuff. Now, it's like mobs and zombies and vampires and human recorders repeating in a huge echo chamber. Um, fandom has been so manipulated and injected with capitals, manipulation, money. Money plays, plays in this whole thing. Everything is about money. It's not accessible for people who do not care about right or wrong or conduct. They just care about us and them. People can get can get so vengeful, so vicious, and so bitter, so petty over whatever they they deem inappropriate. And fandom is so toxic and filled with so many trolls. I mean, personally, I I have had a really good run with this. But I mean, it's nothing like what's going on in 2020. <laughs> I thought I'd seen the worst of fandom in 2018. I was so wrong. This thing just needs to stop. People call it fandom culture. It freaking is not culture. It's not culture. It doesn't deserve that word. It's like cult. It's like man-made religion. It just takes all the toxic elements of cults and religion. I feel really sorry for the actor, but because of how far this has gone, and also the non-action, pretty much non-action coming from either his studio or himself, it's just got to the point where it's very hard for him, right, to totally cut himself out of this fully now. Um, no matter what's done later, the level of damage that it has caused is already there. Maybe this wouldn't turn out to be too bad in the end. I don't know. I can't predict the future. Right now, I'm just super shocked and scared about what has gone down, especially not last night in the last couple 12 hours. So the third thing, obviously, is is there are so many young people these days who really need mental support, like mental health support. Negative kind of emotion is extremely contagious. Maybe they see one person doing that and then they kind of follow suit and people lose their mind. And these people are mostly young girls, um, 17, 20, I think one is 17 years old, the other is 22. It makes me just really thankful for the fact that I was born earlier, during the year, ages where there was no internet and grew up, I mean, my teenager years when my hormones were like crazy, was spent on textbooks and magazines mostly. Like that was the only thing you have, right? In China back then, there was no internet. There was cassette tapes and CD and Walkman. I mean, that was my childhood. I'm kind of like really appreciative of that. Um, thank heavens that I didn't have internet and Weibo and social media back then. I'm not sure I, I do it better right, than these young, young people these days. So this just shows, right, the never talked about topic. I think in many cultures in this world, I mean, in the West, probably better, but also a taboo in many ways. And in China, definitely. 
It's like if you talk to um teenagers' parents about mental health, they're gonna go, "What does he know about mental health?" Or what does she know? She's a kid. This is the general opinion. <sighs> uh, and when something like this happens, it just scares the shit out of you. You just realize, oh no. There are actually that that many people who have problems. Most of them are not gonna get the help they need. So this is how far this has gone to. Um, if any future big development happens that kind of needs a video's explanation, maybe I'll do one. But I really don't want to do another video on this topic. I don't want anything crazier to happen. I want us to stop here now. Just just stop. Maybe this is like just being blown out of proportion. Maybe it's nothing. Um, I mean, if you don't read fan fiction and you have no idea about who um the actor is or what the fandom is like, this thing will not affect uh, your life in any way. But it does have this level of insanity. It just makes me go. All this for what? You know, like for what? I mean, if I wasn't doing drama reviews, right, I probably wouldn't have a Weibo account. My Weibo account, um. Or like the one I use now,、uh, really started because I started my channel and I need news.、I、need to like follow certain people in the industry so that I know the latest stuff going on.、Uh, but because of that, I also see these things, and I love the Untamed. I love the story. I love the characters. I don't want anything terrible to happen to anybody in that drama. Any of the actors. Not to mention Xiao Zhan is my、uh, 老乡 right from the same city. I don't know what else I can say. I just hope everybody in the comment section be civil to each other.、Um, and if you want to talk about it, it's fine. Don't fight. Don't say horrible things. I mean, this whole thing, right, is is because of so much bullying from people taking sides and deciding that、um, you are my enemies over things that are so not worth doing that. So please be kind to each other. And I'll see you in my next video. Signing off. Yeah, I never say that on Up New X, but yeah,、uh, first time of everything. Signing off, Up New X.